if I did. Now, for everybody who knows the time machine, the 1960s time machine with Rod Taylor, fantastic movie, great, great sci-fi. Everybody likes that. I've always wanted to have something from the time machine. I'm not interested in having a Morlock. I'm not interested in having anything like that. But one thing I thought would be really cool is what if I was able to get the Tantalus box and like the replica of the time machine, you know, the one where he takes it out and he proves his theory about the time machine. So I was able to find something that I've never seen before. I've never seen a Tantalus box before, but uh, without further ado, here's the Tantalus box that I found. And as you can see, it's got the relief on it, just like it. It's a full blown Tantalus box. Um, let me open it up for you here. And uh, it's not super fragile, but you don't want to abuse it. I mean, you know, definitely don't want to abuse it. So right there, I've got the lid up. These actual, the sides actually open up on the side, just like the real Tantalus box in the movie. And uh, let's do this. Let's, let's open them up up there. And here's the replica of the time machine. And this is, this is really, really freaking cool. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Really, really freaking cool in every way. Um, here's my hand. So this is supposed to be the exact dimension of the one that's used for the replica in the time machine. The detail on this is really outstandingly cool. It did a really, really beautiful job. I've never seen anybody um, have one of these. And uh, when I did see it, I contacted the guy and asked him if it was for sale. Of course, you know, it's expensive, like they always, um, that's usually when you find stuff you don't find anymore. Um, I'll bring it in really close here. You can actually see all the detail. It's ridiculously good. Um, all the piping, of course, is brass. The barber chair has um, all quilting on it in velvet. And um, all the paintwork is beautiful. Um, it sits on top of a wood platform, just like it does in the movie. You can see in the Tantalus box, you can see all the, the puffy quilting. And it looks to me like it's the right color. Um, I think this is a Victorian color. I know Tantalus boxes were used for display in the Victorian era. And that's why they used the Tantalus box for the movie. Um, so this is something that uh, really surprised me. Um, it actually looks really good. Now, a lot of times you don't know how it's going to look um, when, when you get these things. Um, sometimes you have to fix things. You have to glue things together. Um, I've had actually had to rewire uh, props that I've gotten before because the people would use the wrong power supplies and stuff like that. And, of course, it would overheat over time <clears throat> and get hot. I didn't do anything to this other than this one little corner piece here I had to glue back on. Um, it was free floating around in there and um, there was uh, the the handle on the Tantalus box right here. That actually came off and I had to put that back on. But I mean, overall, you know, especially shipping uh, from where it shipped at, it shipped um, from the East Coast. So without further ado, I'll show you what this thing does. So as you can see, we've got our disc spinning. Now all I need is a time machine music in the background. <laughs> um, everything lights up uh, with the, the great big Victorian glass. Uh, I don't know if that's a capacitor or what that's supposed to be. Um, and of course, um, there's a light. There's supposed to be something on top of here, I know. Um, and I don't see it in the box, so I'm gonna take a quicker look and see what I can find. If it's not there, I'll make one and put one on top. It's just gonna be like a insulated cover that goes over the top of it. Um, but as you can see, it's spinning and the lights uh, across this are going, blinking back and forth like they should. And I'll pull it back here like this and you can see it. It's a really nice piece. Um, I was gonna build my uh, full blown time machine, but I just don't have the room for it right now. I'm gonna have to buy another house. Um, and I might do that. I might buy another house and just uh, build another prop room. And then I'll put a full blown time machine in it. Um, we'll see how things go. But right now, this is good as it, as it gets. And then you can turn it off, of course. You turn it off. And then the disc will quit spinning. The lights all go out and the disc will quit spinning. So as you can see, and then you can see the detail of the disc too. It's got the, the big peg marks all over it and for the different calendar days and stuff and uh, all the uh, the paint work and everything. And it's really, really pretty. Did a really, um, really good job in this replica. I don't, like I said, I've never seen one before, so I can't compare it with anything, 
But uh, guys, let me know what you think, okay? It'll be a nice, definitely nice addition to the rest of our um, our props that have to do with, uh, with that era. Kind of like the Tesla from uh, Warehouse 13 um, and the, uh, um, the um, uh, God, uh, Farnsworth, can't think today. <laughs> um, let me know what you guys think, all right? See ya.